Kowalski, Fred was hiding. He realized he found Frank Smith's bag that had his black hat in, in it. It turns out that Frank Smith stole it from him after he killed him. Escape Fred worded so he wouldn't scare Stacy that much. One night has passed. Escape Fred had four nights left to, to sacrifice Stacy before he's trapped in the darkness forever. He quickly dashed into Stacy's closet before anyone was home. All right, Stacy, it's time to go to bed. Oh, come on, Dad. Just five more minutes. Come on. You know the drill. You have school in the morning. Okay. We love you, Stacy. Mike, you need me have to have a talk. All right, then. Mike and Scarlett went outside to have a little talk about what's going on. You don't have to treat her like that. She's not freaking two years old anymore. Look, she's freaking seven years old and she needs her beauty sleep. You know how she is when she's tired. Yeah, I know, but you know we know what's best for her. We, I just want to know what's best for our daughter, Mike. You know that. I do. Can we not do this now? We don't want to upset the neighbors. Right, 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 right. They head back inside. Stacy was fast asleep until she heard a noise coming from her closet. Huh? She grabbed her flashlight and started walking towards the closet. She was scared to open it, thinking there were monsters inside. But she doesn't know what kind of monsters on the underside of that closet. She turned on the flashlight and saw nothing there at all. She went back to sleep, only to hear another sound. She got up with her flashlight again, checked the closet door. She turned on her flashlight and... <laughs> Scarlet and Mike heard her screaming. Stacy, what's wrong? <laughs> what's that in my closet? Stacy, there's no such thing as monsters. You were just hallucinating. No, just... Daddy, please. Check, please. Mike, just check for her. She's scared. All right. Officer Mike went towards the closet. He opened it and saw nothing at all. Nope, no monsters in here. You're see, you're fine, Stacy. Don't worry. Okay. Stacy was afraid to go back to sleep, so she asked her mother to stay with her. Scarlet agreed to stay with her tonight. Mike heard dripping from Stacy's closet. It was the sound of Escape Fred's head bleeding after his head getting busted open. He saw blood on the ground. He looked up at the ceiling of the closet to see what it was, only to find nothing at all. Alright, now get some rest, Stacy. You, you have a day at school tomorrow. Hey guys, it's me, Escape 52, and that's the end of chapter 4. Chapter 5 will be out today as well, because I I know how that's, it's going to end. Eventually, there will be a chapter 6, since Escape Fred's time is going by too fast. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed chapter 4. I'll see you guys when chapter four, 5 is out. I don't know when chapter 6 will be out, probably today as well. As well. Since two days... Two nights will be passed in chapter 5, and then an hour later in chapter 5, another two will be go past, and he'll have one chance left. And that's where he gets to the point to sacrifice her. And that's when they come across Rick. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.